Ladies and gentlemen, we fight on Friday nights. This is SmackDown. From the WWE Universe to Webster's Dictionary, the show that changed the game, ready to bring you the best action, the best analysis, and Byron Saxton, too. Hey! Gentlemen, the smoke has just arrived. There's a man who truly is always ready for a fight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, representing the Street Profits, from Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in at 260 pounds, Angelo Dawkins. Angelo Dawkins, an incredible multi-sport athlete, earned college national titles in football, amateur wrestling, and track. Dawkins is legit. He's legit. He's got the confidence. He's got the swag. He is stirring it up. We should party with Dawkins, man. I bet that'd be a night we'd never forget. Byron, they wouldn't even let you in the same club as the Street Profits. You'd be behind the rope, Byron. And, and her the partner, sidewalk. from Knoxville, Taking Tennessee, Bianca Belair. There is just a different energy when the EST is here. A spectacular athlete, former star of track and weightlifting, Bianca Belair has next level stamina and power inside the ring. Without question, one of the absolute best in the women's division. the horror coming to get you Saxton uh, I think I gotta run to the bathroom you do that normally Byron and representing the dude from the bottomless pit 
weighing in at 260 pounds, the Boogeyman! Guys, to me, the scariest thing about Boogeyman is what we are seeing are not mind games. This is simply Boogeyman being himself. Well, you're actually right, Corey, and being himself has earned the Boogeyman wins over Hall of Famers like JBL and Booker T. Pure nightmare fuel. A very erratic and eccentric superstar. I've always wondered, guys, do you really think those worms taste good? Why don't you go ahead and sample them, Saxton? You let us know. Uh, I'm good. Boogie, he's over here. Oh, look, no, turn around, Boogie. No, quiet, Corey, quiet. Enter the Empress. <laughs> Nobody makes an entrance quite like Asuka. And from Osaka, Japan, Asuka! Asuka has won multiple women's championships. She won the first ever women's Royal yeah. Rumble. Even a former Money in the Bank winner. Domination and intimidation personified. You know, I asked Asuka about her plans for tonight. You know what she yelled at me? Easy peasy. That's nicer than what she usually yells at you, Saxton. What are you trying to say? This mixed tag team bout is underway, starting things off, we see Angelo Dawkins and Bianca Belair. And across the ring, we see Boogeyman and Asuka. Remember, if a partner tags out, the opposing team's member must also tag out immediately or face disqualification. If those fools apply to us, I'd tag Cole and get you out of here. Team. That's what you think. In the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Splash in the corner. Wow. He's ejected from the ring. 
He has a right where he wants him. Return fire from Dawkins. That gets reversed on Boogeyman. We're going to get her here. Look at this. Oh, God.
Watkins and Bianca Belair. An incredibly impressive showing by this tag team. Chemistry on point. Teamwork looking sharp. For my money, this is the best women's tag team around. Now the nightmare is real. Rash, bold, and unashamed. Brutality has arrived. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Adelaide, Australia, one half of the Women's Tag Team Champions, Rhea. Ripley! One of the most powerful women in all of WWE. Set a new standard of brutality in her match against Tony Storm at NXT UK TakeOver Blackpool. She became the first ever NXT UK Women's Champion. You know, some would call this confidence, others arrogance. That's the look on the face of Rhea Ripley. What we do know is that Rhea Ripley is always prepared for any kind of fight. One of the most inspirational superstars around. Oh, one of my personal favorites, almost a superhero, Nikki A.S.H. How appropriate, Saxton, because you're almost a commentator. That wasn't funny, Corey. And her partner, from Glasgow, Scotland, one half of the Women's Tag Team Champions, almost a superhero, Nikki A.S.H. Inspirational or delusional? I say inspirational, motivational, impactful. How can you not be a fan of Nikki A.S.H.? Easy. She's delusional. Such a Debbie Downer. What does almost a superhero mean? It means you don't need superpowers to be a superhero. You can be a superhero by just doing the right thing, by just trying your best, Michael. So if you left the commentary desk, would that make you a superhero, Saxon? Because that's the right thing. That's a bad example, Corey. Who doesn't? I don't. And Billy Kay and Peyton Royce. 
the Iconics. They may or may not be two of my most trusted sources. Well, I believe that. Two ladies who have known each other since high school in Sydney, Australia, now causing havoc and dismay. And goodness gracious, they do great impressions. They're horrible. This is iconic. The Australian duo have taken WWE by storm and show no signs of slowing down. Tag team match underway. bragging rights in the division are on the line. Highly competitive tag team division in WWE. Winning this match will go a long way in separating yourselves from the pack. Oh. Oof, nails the midsection. Her at bay. Yeah. What an amazing display of athleticism. All on the apron, lifting it up into the ring. Bam! Suplex. Big form. Here we go. Inverted DDT. Lights out. The arm absorbing the damage. Able to tag her partner. Oh, the hard impact in the corner. Here we go. Tag made. Drop kick. Wow. Now, oh, trampling the other position. Nicely done. Big time clothesline. Good grief. And Roy sidesteps out. And she's stunned in the corner. Looking bad for her here. And now she's looking to go top rope. To the sky. Oh, diving hammer strike. High risk territory for Nikki. From the heavens. Splash from the top. Looking for a high risk, high rewards. Up high, splash. Attempting high risk move after high risk move at a breakneck pace. From the top, coming down with incredible force. 
A helter-skelter attitude here. Getting to the bottom and going back. Look out! Power force! We are seeing a ridiculous amount of risky moves. We'll see if it pays off. From the head, got the knees up just in time. This could turn things around. Oh, look at this! Into the corner. This can't be good. Working over the body there. Boom, running STO plants him. Nicely done. This match is wearing her down. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course they're gonna wind up with a few battle scars. in the corner, needs to recover. Foot to the belly. Uh-oh. Face first in the turnbuckle. Second row. Oh, look at this hanging arm bar. Great way to break your opponent's arm. Victory. Maybe a little hyperbolic, but these two performed like they're born to be a tag team. If they stay together, watch out.
And here comes the man. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Dublin, Ireland, the Raw Women's Champion, Becky Lynch. The man has an unmatched confidence and swagger about herself. From underdog to the top of the food chain. Accompanied by Naomi from Moscow, the Ravishing Russian, Lana! The Ravishing Russian has been ridiculed and written off her entire career, but here tonight she's looking to have the last laugh and crush the competition. Well, anybody that's ever ridiculed Lana doesn't know what they're talking about. She's incredibly beautiful, Byron. incredibly talented. Byron speaks like 31 languages. Byron. Byron never, has none of those things. Well, I know, but Byron's criticized I, all those things. I did not. That's not true. I respect Lana. She is ready for this big match, and she knows everyone backstage will be watching her make an impact. Becky Lynch, someone who says, you're going to have to destroy me completely to take away what I've worked for. The man is here to fight. And on the other side of the ring is Lana, a superstar who has overcome more than her fair share of challenges. People say she doesn't belong, but that has only fueled Lana to work twice as hard to prove them wrong. Lana never hesitates to take on new obstacles. The problem is, those obstacles usually... Looking for the quick 10. And only a one count. She's trying to get this thing done as quickly as possible. Right on point. Just caught flush. All measured up. Ah, oh, drop kick to the spine. And now Lana can't stop any offense coming her way. Lana has run into a roadblock. Hooked up. Telling her opposition, you are way out of your depth here. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. And a drop kick. Picture perfect. One. And count outs are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Ow. Foot, meet, back. Whoa. Becky's showing no restraint. Becky's taking what she wants. She's showing Dude. signs of slowing now. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here. And Lynch here. Corey, what do you think Becky has her mindset on doing in this match? Well, we all know Becky has an affinity for taking people's oh. arms. And I don't see why she'll have any change of heart tonight. This is not the time to be diverting attention away from your opponent. Counter from Lana. Yeah, Lana's survival instincts are taking over. She gets Becky with a counter. Have to head back into the ring now. Yeah, count's running out. Eight. Nine. Now she's allowing the WWE Universe to simply soak it all in. Victory. Here is your winner, Becky Lynch. A count out win is still a win. The winner looks a bit let down that this is the way the match ended. Perhaps they should have tried to break the count at the end there.
the longest reigning Universal Champion in history. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Paul Heyman from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, the WWE Champion, Brock Lesnar. The Beast. The Beast, the Conqueror, the Mayor of Suplex City. Brock Lesnar has earned every nickname bestowed upon him. The most decorated combat athlete in the world, gracing WWE with his presence. Someone's gonna take a trip to Suplex City. Yeah, that's almost guaranteed. Brock Lesnar is ready for a fight. Oh, no. Oh, yes. The visionary, the revolutionary Seth freaking Rollins has arrived. Well, certainly Seth Rollins has unmatched accolades, a championship resume, but a wardrobe that leaves a lot to be desired. Saxon, last time you saw that much drip, you called a plumber. And his opponent from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds. What an amazing outfit. Truly the best dressed man in WWE. And that holds a lot of water coming from me. Best dressed man? Rollins' outfit is my eyes traumatized. Look at this guy. I can't stop. No one can. <laughs> Imagine the massive size of his ego. What a weirdo. The history between these men started when Seth Rollins cashed in his Money in the Bank contract at WrestleMania 31. Rollins defeated Lesnar for the Universal Championship at WrestleMania 35. Suffice to say, this is a very confident beast slayer. As great as Seth Rollins is, and as impressive as his victory over Lesnar at WrestleMania was, Lesnar has never looked more ferocious. A prescient warning to Seth Rollins, be careful because this is Brock Lesnar on a rampage. Well, through his advocate, Paul Heyman, Lesnar said tonight the world would witness the violation and desecration of Seth Rollins. He leaves the ring, but he could lose this match by countout. He went right into that turnbuckle. Oh. Versatility from Rollins. Brock Lesnar is the beast. He's the conqueror. But Brock must be aware of Scott. getting worked on here. Yeah, Brock's holding the so-called Beast Slayer at bay. Punch lands. Ooh, stiff punch. Lester with a well-timed shot. Seth Rollins in some trouble here. Wait, what's Lesnar doing going to the top rope? Perched up top. with the wrist. 
trap. What a knee strike from the King Slayer. Impressive reversal on Rollins. And out of the ring he goes. Top rope, putting it all on the line. Two. Three. Four. Incoming. Rip caught in front of that. Get ready, Saxton. You might be the replacement. Heading up. He's thinking big. Taking flight. Rock not about to show any mercy to Rollins. Oh, no, no. Good time, time. Come on, Rock is in. The official asking him, is he going to tap? Is he going to tap out? He's trying to hold on, but for how long? And he lets him out of the submission hold. Could have been a strategic move to wear down that body. Into the cover. The Beast Incarnate was all over Seth Rollins, and Lesnar's brutality was ungodly. His appetite to destroy Rollins was insatiable, and we witnessed the end result. We saw here tonight the will Brock Lesnar has, the desire Brock Lesnar possesses to annihilate his opponents, especially when that opponent is Seth Rollins. There is a reason this program has been a staple of Monday nights for over 25 years. It is entertainment. It is excitement. It is Monday.
Byron, I'm not going to ask you this question because you're not cool enough, but I'll ask Graves. Graves, are you ready to walk with Elias? Negative, Ghost Rider. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Weighing in at 222 pounds. The Million Dollar Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, Elias. Listen, I can't deny his in-ring ability, but when it comes to his music, I got no time for Elias. And his opponent from Black Forest, South Australia, weighing in at 228 pounds, K.S.I. Matches like these with talent of this caliber, this is why sports entertainment is in art form. A man who always gets a strong reaction from the WWE Universe, and it will only intensify once the bell rings. You're looking at a well-traveled superstar who has seen a lot in the ring. With experience comes confidence. There's nothing you can throw at this competitor that could phase him in the slightest. He'll be looking to utilize that wisdom in this matchup. Yeah, but anybody that is riding off Elias could find himself sorely mistaken. Don't let his melodies fool you. Elias is one sister songsmith who believes himself to be the truth teller. And he's coming in tonight motivated by all the disrespect he's been feeling from the WWE Universe. Everything about Elias is painful, from his music to his attacks in the ring, but don't disrespect the man's capabilities. Elias is fully capable of making sure that his tune will be... On the outside now. What's he thinking? Oh, we know what he likes to do out here. This is exactly what's next. Apron Powerbomb! These two competitors keeping a safe amount of distance two. between one another. can play a mean tune, but what does he have to do to take things to the next level tonight? Elias is as powerful as his music is annoying, so he should use the power in his offense to his advantage. Maybe leave the guitar on the outside and play the hits in a more literal sense. one way to leave the ring, I suppose. Elias climbs. What's on his... Oh, look out. Bang. Looking for a high-risk move. Watch out. What? Showing absolutely no apprehension to putting one's body on the line. Blast off. All the way to the outside. Big time risk pays off. The daredevil in you comes out when you take risks like that.
The sound of this crowd is deafening, and he's asking for more. And he sends him into the corner. He moved, but can he capitalize? DDT! And Elias there got some pain directed right to him. He's a projectile now. He's got him in the crosshairs. to the floor. Mr. Money in the Bank. Elias moves out of the way. Left by the turnbuckles. Oof. Running knee in the corner. Bloody Bulldog. Staggering to his feet, but he won't like what's coming next.
Ladies and gentlemen, Elias. Quite a bit of cause for celebration after a match like that. Tonight we saw another smash hit from Elias. That was a B-side at best. A strange, unsettling feeling has just come over this building. Loomis strikes me as the type of dude you'd hang out with, Saxton. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from... Ah, uh, whose house is it? It's Swerve's house! What's that make you, Saxon? Like the annoying neighbor who calls the cops when the music's too loud? That's not a very nice thing to say, Corey. <laughs> make way for the Samoan submission machine! And from Huntington Beach, California, weighing in at... Superstar is keeping one eye on each opponent in this triple threat match with Dexter Loomis, Isaiah Scott, and Samoa Joe. Preparation will be key. All three competitors have to come into this match with a game plan. Have to come in with an idea of what it'll take to isolate an opponent. DDT spike. for anything. Down. And that was only a one. The 
this match is not going to end so soon. He's getting a huge boost right now from all those chants and cheers. Heavy body shots. What a close line. He's lost some of his win now. Very effective. 
Samoa Joe looking to cap off this match. Muscle Buster from Joe. That is why Joe is so secure. Impressively withstanding the onslaught of the two other superstars to stand tall and have their... Oh boy, gentlemen, the goddess of WWE has arrived. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, accompanied by Nikki Cross from Columbus, Ohio, the WWE Women's Champion, Alexa Bliss. Alexa has an athletic background of gymnastics, kickboxing, track, even weightlifting. And now Alexa Bliss, one of the most meanest and dangerous superstars of any size. She's also highly intelligent, Saxon, and wouldn't appreciate you calling her the most meanest. Don't tell her. It's redundant. I never get tired of being graced by the goddess's presence. Here comes the queen, the franchise, and the self-proclaimed opportunity. We talk a lot about Charlotte's gracefulness in the ring, so I suppose it really is no surprise that she... insists on being called the queen 
of WWE. Yeah, but not just the queen of WWE, Cole, the queen of all eras. A title she earned, a title she's maintained with every distinguished move she makes in the ring. Every devastating statement she makes against the peasants, she lowers herself to face for the enjoyment of the unwashed masses. Charlotte's point of view certainly has legs, but I sometimes wonder if you realize we don't actually live in a monarchy, Corey. But she's gonna have to deal with the five feet of fury ready to the top rope. Taking flight, nice splash. Takes another trip to the skies, and it pays off once again. Insulting. This matchup definitely has its share of contrast, taking nothing away. Soaring, lands the splash. Alexa Bliss, top turnbuckle. Taking flight. Splash. Taking a chance one more time and landing with incredible impact. Taking flight. Diving body splash. Just putting their body in danger time and time again. Oh, man, I'll tell you, I thought this superstar was out of this match, but apparently not. What a comeback. Stomping away. Going up top. To the sky. Diving splash from the top. Incredible impact. Front kick from behind. Ouch. She said flying into the corner. Monkey flip! A nice shot by Alexa Bliss. Tilt a whirl. Tilt a whirl into the small package. And with that, Alexa delivers a dismantling blow to Flair. Alexa. Counter by Charlotte. Oh, what a crash. And now she's climbing to the top turnbuckle. Taking flight. Body splash. Just thinking big from the top. Connects. Charlotte able to steal clear. Bliss with that chilling look. This could be horrific for Flair. Alexa Bliss set now. Bliss with a DDT to a kip up. Flair couldn't avoid it. Bliss takes down Charlotte Flair. Bliss just showed why she is one of the most resourceful superstars in WWE today. As Charlotte Flair found out, size does not matter. When Alexa Bliss is focused and sticks to her game plan, she's almost impossible to beat.
Get out of the way. Here comes Keith Lee. Talk about an incredible physical specimen. That's exactly who Keith Lee is. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Wichita Falls, Texas. Weighing in at 320 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, Keith Lee. Now this man here is proof that everything is bigger in Texas. A truly exceptional athlete, built like a tank, but moves like a fighter jet. Yeah, but once that bell rings, you can expect a thunderous assault. An athlete with a rugged southpaw style that's extremely tough to prepare for. Yeah, Keith Lee makes it easy when he lights opponents up. Or sending them through the mat. Lee ready to get down to business. Keith Lee's body coursing with adrenaline. And Lee will take any opportunity to showcase his incredible power. And his opponent, from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 580 pounds, S-T-Rex, I love. Ever since I took my spot here at the commentary table, I have wanted to call this match. I cannot wait to finally do it. This is a guy who always seeks out the highest level of competition, and I think he'll get it tonight. Superstar that has all the tools to be one of the biggest names this business has ever seen. I'm not ready to crown him as the next big thing just yet, but his performance in this match could sway me. You're not the only person to be looking to convince tonight. And on the other side is Keith Lee, a competitor who firmly believes in fair play inside the ring. So we'll see how far that gets him tonight. I admire Keith Lee's sense of sportsmanship, and don't you dare mistake it for weakness. Lee may always play fair, but he also holds nothing back once the bell rings. Oh, yeah. Lee avoids the attack.
was an awesome win for this young man. One of the biggest in his career by far. What a battle. Respect to both competitors. And this I love. This I absolutely love. Maybe you should have taken a page out of that kid's book in your career, Corey. Great sportsmanship. I would have hit him in the mouth. to SmackDown Live. Michael Cole, Byron Saxton, and, well, the greatest of all time, Corey Graves on hand, waiting in anticipation for what the SmackDown Live general manager has in store for us tonight. The future has arrived. A man who bends limbs, joints, and time itself. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Tokyo, Japan. Weighing in at 192 pounds, Kushi. Trained in both pro wrestling and MMA in Japan. 
Kushida was undefeated in eight mixed martial arts fights, and he brings those same submission skills now to WWE. And his opponent from Black Forest, South Australia, weighing in at 228 pounds, KSI. Social media has been buzzing since this match was announced, and I think the competitors plan on delivering on that hype. He is physically and mentally prepared for the task at hand in his big time match. And here we have a superstar with a big chip on his shoulder. He has certainly felt overlooked recently. Well, he has a chance to change that perception in this matchup. Also in the ring is Kushida, a man whose innovative offense truly makes him ahead of his time. Kushida is constantly inventing new attacks and looking for new ways to tie his opponents up in knots. Yeah, a real genius for wrestling. It's only a matter of time before you see the latest and greatest from Kushida. When you combine his ingenuity with his indomitable fighting spirit, you really get something special. Sunset flip! Oh, shit! Precision strike to the back of the neck. Placing them into the corner. Saw that coming from Kushida. Fails to connect on the springboard. Sternum. Kushida going up. That's insane! What punishment being dealt by Kushida? Yeah, Kushida isn't giving any reprieve. Here's a little tip when dealing with an experienced competitor like Kushida. No. Oh, look out! Took a gamble once, took a gamble again, and hit the jackpot. Blast off! Yeah. Oh my gosh! You have got to be kidding me! Using your body as a missile over and over again. Oh man, what a double knee strike right to the sternum. And he continues to mount on the pressure. This is where the rubber meets the, the superstar building and had something going but can't finish the job. Powerless position to be in right now. Oh, right to the throat. He's getting a huge boost right now from all those chants and cheers. Oh, and Kushida turns the tables. Get him into the corner. Strike right to the sternum. Taking this match off the mat now. That's insane! But he doesn't connect. Uh-oh, sunset. Let's Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. Yeah. Oh, what a drop kick. And Kushida didn't have the right timing to avoid that attack. Producing a trampoline. 
He gets out of the way. Ooh, line deliver. Getting up, but doesn't have a clue what's coming at him. One step ahead of Kushida there. Boom, what impact. Oh, a shot right to the kidney. Oh. And again. Great win. Wear down your opponent. Oh, man. He's positioning himself. Closing in. That took athleticism. He's reeling, slowly getting up. There's been plenty of action in this match, and the cost of that is really showing now. Wrench in the arm. Not done yet. Into the arm breaker. Hammer lock. Oh! Climbing up top. He's got big plans. And nobody's there. Big right hand connects. Incoming. Kushida off. Makes the cover. Kicked out at one. Even the ref can't believe it. How? How? Kicking out at one after that is unheard of. And the heaviest hitter in the arsenal was not enough. Tough position to be caught in here. Piercing the throat. Kushida gets it back. Oh boy, he's stalking him. Watching for an opening. And set right into the corner. Oh, he retaliates. Oh my God. He's starting to struggle here. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes themselves to. To it, returning to the ring. Stirring back to his feet, but he might not know where he is. One, two. Position here. I agree, it was quite the display tonight. This was the kind of win where you second guess yourself. Sure, it's a celebration now, but the results could have easily gone the other way.
following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring. At a combined weight of 419 pounds, the WWE Tag Team Champions, Austin Theory and Johnny Gargano, the talent in competition here. You can see exactly why the WWE Universe is so amped up for this one. A class is in session. A man who has held countless championships in his career. A truly all-time great of the grappling game. And their opponents first from Blackpool, England. Weighing in at 240 pounds. The WWE United Kingdom Champion, William Regal. William Regal is a multiple-time intercontinental and tag team champion, plus a former king of the ring. Not to mention a real man's man. I sure do miss that theme music. Well, I'm sure a painful lesson is planned today. Indeed, class is now in session. Oh, Byron, hide under the desk because the creepy clown's here. And from Parts Unknown, weighing in at 243 pounds, the WWE Undisputed Champion, Doink the Clown. I mean, I, I usually love clowns, but Doink the Clown completely changed my opinion. Doink has struck fear into the hearts of the WWE Universe for many, many sleepless nights. I think Doink's pretty twisted. He likes to make kids cry. What kind of clown likes to make kids cry? If it makes you feel any better, Saxton, Doink also enjoys making adults cry and weep at the suffering he is about to inflict on his opponent. It's going to be Austin Theory and Johnny Gargano. And standing in their way of victory, we see William Regal and Doink the Clown. This match can very well come down to experience. And I'm not just talking about individual experience. I'm talking about the experience you have with your partner. Knowing how to be on the same page is going to be crucial. Taken down. Looks like he has his finger on the trigger now. Right to the cut into the corner. He's got to know he's in harm's way here. Yeah. Oh, tag made. Oh, a kick. Right to the midsection. This match grinded him down a little. with that one. That could be it.
20 pounds. He is the artist known as Shinsuke Nakamura. You know, think about Shinsuke Nakamura, Corey. He just has this relaxed confidence about him. Of course, that's the confidence that comes with knowing you are the king. Now, Shinsuke Nakamura truly lives a rock star lifestyle. What would you know about a rock star lifestyle, Saxton? Yeah. They wouldn't even let you be a roadie. Yeah. Or a groupie. <laughs> And his opponent from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 239 pounds, C.M. Punk. We talk a lot about locker room dynamics. You'll never hear a single negative thing backstage about this superstar. Well, that is what happens when you treat your fellow superstars with respect. They respect you right back. There are no awards for congeniality here in WWE. That respect means nothing if you lose. He's been demanding this match for quite some time, and now he is ready to compete. And here we have a superstar with a big chip on his shoulder. He has certainly felt overlooked recently. Well, he has a chance to change that perception in this matchup. But on the flip side is Shinsuke Nakamura, an incredibly talented competitor who's wrestled the best there is here in WWE, across the ocean in Japan and all over the globe. And wherever Shinsuke's taken his unique in-ring talent, championship gold has always followed. No. Oh, God, that, that, that's a bad landing. That was an absolutely haphazard, uncalculated risk. And I have no doubt they're going to... On the top, top wing down. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Desperate attempt here to get back on his feet. Sent into the corner. Oh, right to the gut. He's positioning himself. Closing in. Uh, 
Nasty right hand. Vicious in Zaguri. Shinsuke Nakamura, all hail the King of Strong Style. Catching a drop kick. What's your game plan if you're set to clash with perhaps the most feared striker in all of WWE, Shinsuke Nakamura? Step one is be a moving target, but the bigger strategy is to work around his strikes and maybe take Shinsuke down to the mat. He's a potent striker, but you might be able to get the better of him on the ground. Shinsuke showing once again that wherever he goes, carnage is soon to follow. Shinsuke proving there's only one. Kinshasa! Nakamura right on target. And he is saved by the ropes. Ready for a little bit of high risk here, it seems. From the top. Elbow drop. Good lord. And he can't defend any offense coming his way. He's going to reevaluate his approach. Look out. Fortune favors the bowl. These risks could be a winning strategy. Whoa, not quite yet. Oh, the first one doesn't get to the second one. Solid connection. I think we're going to see it, boy. Hits back against Nakamura. Yeah, he's able to stop the bleeding, but will he also gain command? for this young man. One of the biggest in his career by far. What a battle. Respect to both competitors. 
And this I love. This I absolutely love. Maybe you should have taken a page out of that kid's book in your career, Corey. Great sportsmanship. I would have hit him in the mouth. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 545 pounds. Big E and the Boogeyman, Doom! Take a look at this team, completely on the same page. Such incredible teamwork they've shown. I can't wait to see them compete. Yeah, I can dig it. Byron, you make even Booker T. And their opponents cool. first from Houston, Texas. Weighing in at 251 pounds, Booker T. Booker T, who says to gain respect, you got to earn respect. Well, Booker T has lived by that motto, which is why he is a two-time WWE Hall of Famer and one of the most decorated athletes the industry has ever known.
You know, Booker knows success as both a tag team legend and a multi-time world champion. But Cole, let us not forget that he is our king and the ring is Booker T's court. And Saxton's out here to be the court jester. And from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 258 pounds, Cody Rhodes. No matter how high the deck is stacked, this one competitor will never give up. Well, as long as never giving up is the only strategy they bring with them into the ring, the odds are they will always be stacked against them. He says it's all about dominance tonight and plans on showing why everyone backstage should be scared. tag team matchup. There's a pecking order in the tag team division, and one of these teams is jockeying for position at the very top. Booker cuts him off. Wrenching the arm. DDT! Tag. Tag is registered. to look in his eye here, folks. From the heavens, big time splash. And his eyes are piercing through the opposition now. Big double axe handle. Stomping down. He's looking completely lost as he finds his footing. He's able to sidestep there. Textbook side rush and leg sweep. Rapid fire rights over and over. Oh, Elevated. Is it enough? Not a very effective pin attempt. He switches it back around. With a DDT. The damage he's taken is starting to power up. His eyes are fixated. He's looking to end this. to his feet, but he won't like what's coming next. Set up in the corner of the ring. He has a right where he wants him. Ooh. He's reeling slowly getting up. T. Quick take down there. <laughs> oh, what a punch. <laughs> Systematic attack on that shoulder.
trying to find his bearings, but it looks like his end is near. Tag's made. Partner on top. Oh, both feet causing immense damage. Vicious shoulder tackle in the corner. Just ruthless. He's got the target acquired. Just a matter of moments. And tag. He did it. Let's go. And Boogeyman able to reverse that. Going back to his feet, but he might not know where he is. Great counter! Oh, Piggy Man anticipated that. Oh, right across the throat. He's getting pushed out of the defensive. Yeah, they've stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the... Piggy Man with his grip sixth They say when you know, you know, and I know there's no tag team on the roster that can touch these two guys. The gold and black can only mean one thing. The future is here, and the future is now. This is NXT.
the following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring. Accompanied by Slapjack at a combined weight of 584 pounds, Mace and T-Bar Retribution. If you looked up tag team wrestling in the dictionary, these two would be the definition. Absolute masters at the tag team craft. And their opponents, at a combined weight of 545 pounds, the Boogeyman and Big E Doom. The WWE Universe more than ready to see this one start. This is going to be good. From them, we see Boogeyman and Big E. These teams have scouted each other very well. They probably identified the weak link in their opposition. Likely going to want to isolate and punish that single individual. Suplex on the apron. He's begging him to get up so he can put him back down. Side. 
Raped across the top rope. Clubbing forearm. A completely relentless attack from T-Ball. Every form of offense Big E attempts is being neutralized. Big boot. Vicious. Looks like he has his finger on the trigger now. Into the turnbuckle. He's got to know he's in harm's way here. His eyes are fixated. He's looking to end this. And the boogeyman is now in a demoralizing spot. Full focus from T-Bar. And Boogeyman able to reverse that. Finally, Boogeyman's able to interrupt these attacks for a moment. He isn't allowing that burst of attacks to finish him. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring. At a combined weight of 403 pounds, the WWE Tag Team Champions, Angel Garza and Umberto Carrillo. The WWE Universe has been counting the days, hours, and minutes for this match to start, and the countdown is almost over. The raid has arrived. Ah! Ah! And their opponents, at a combined weight of 552 pounds, Ivar and Eric the Viking Raiders. Too big. Bad, scary dudes who have run roughshod over the tag team division. Yeah, two absolute wrecking balls 
who are thirsty for demolition. It's a terrifying blend of size, speed, power, and agility. When you see these two behemoths walking towards you, a lot of people would argue the match is already over before the bell rings. Match is sure to be filled with exciting action. These teams want the win bad tonight, and they'll fight hard to get it. Yeah, these superstars look like they're all business, not a weak link among them. Stirring back to his feet, but he might not know where he is. Into the corner now. Oh, what a floor. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. A drop kick in the corner. Perfectly executed. He has him right where he wants him. Big clothesline. What a drop kick. Getting up, but doesn't have a clue what's coming at him. Looks like he has his finger on the trigger now. Oh, with authority! An overbearing amount of offense against Eric here. Every form of offense Eric attempts is being neutralized. Desperate attempt here to get back on his feet. Incoming! He's got him in the crosshairs. Absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Spinning in the face of danger. You can see as he rises how vulnerable of a position he's in. No way. Suicide dive. Just exhibiting their fearlessness. Exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. Two. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Crashing hard onto the floor. My goodness. That did not. Plan. Might have been a bad plan to begin with. Two. Ah! He's staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. Oh, merciless knee to the face. And Garza is showcasing his arsenal. Everything's going in Garza's favor right now. He's got the target acquired. Just a matter of moments. Running Hurricane Rana. Fantastic. He's looking completely lost as he finds his footing. Turns that back on guard. Here's the cover for the win. And he kicks out of the pen in one. Giving a massive. 
decisive effort to overcome the pin attempt. Headbutt! Umberto 
Carrillo and Angel Garza. Two great superstars that go great together, and that win is proof. This right pairing can certainly do wonders, and make no mistake, this was a wonderful performance tonight. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 230 pounds, the ECW World Heavyweight Champion, Cody Rhodes. You are looking at some highly motivated competitors in this match, looking to steal the show and capture the attention of the entire WWE Universe. He said he wants to be the most dominant champ in history, so he will not let up in a non-title situation. His opponents first from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 193 pounds, Drew Gulak. He's held the Cruiserweight Championship, a multi-time 24-7 champion. Gulak craves the 24-7 title because he's always ready to fight at any time. A true Broad Street bully. Byron, you probably love Gulak and all his great presentations, right? Well, I've always loved PowerPoint presentations growing up, so Drew Gulak brings me back to my childhood. Back in your day, they used microfish. That's just a rumor. <laughs> Cesaro goes, feats of strength always follow. Saxton, can you try a feat of silence, please? No, I cannot. I said please. And from Lucerne, Switzerland, weighing in at 232 pounds, the WWE Universal Champion, Cesaro! You know, Corey Cesaro had one of the great matches in NXT history. Two out of three falls versus Sami Zayn. Some will argue 
that match put NXT on the map. I, I was there, I called it, and I would argue that that match put NXT on the map. to come into this triple threat with a different mindset than any other match. Well, contending with multiple opponents really makes you think in a cerebral manner. Do you focus on one opponent or wait for an opening and capitalize? Lots of ways to approach this fight. Boom! The Gulak attack. Put it down across the back. Being carried around with ease. Lands face first. He's been placed in the corner now. Oh! Now trampling the opposition. Cesaro anticipated that one. And he stonewalls Cesaro there. Apparently, this match needed a mud hole. Oh, my God. Nice series of strikes. Combo finds the mark. Oh, goes down face first from the board buster. He's absorbed some damage already. Caught square by the haymaker. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Oh, this is not going to end well. Superstar can attack at will here. Everything is a weapon. That is what makes this so dangerous. It's anything goes. There are no limits here. And it can be chilling to see the lights someone's willing to go to to destroy another human being. And by chilling, I mean beautiful. Double team. Uh-oh. This uh -oh. isn't going to be good. <laughs> Suplex. He's feeling the effects of that last hit.
And there's a takedown. Oh, reversal catches Gulak. Him, watching for an opening and a nice takedown. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Cesaro's entangled. Cesaro's down, and he might be out. Try to end it. One, two, three. Oh, finally got it. I can't believe this match is finally over. Here is your winner, Cody Rhodes. What a tremendous effort from all three superstars involved in this hard-hitting triple threat. We knew these three would put on a show, but I do not think anyone predicted just how intense this match would be. I think one man did, and it's the one currently celebrating his win. Here comes the queen, the franchise, and the self-proclaimed opportunity. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring, representing Les Femmes Vétales from the Queen City. The SmackDown Women's Champion, Charlotte. You know, the WWE Universe, at least many in it, believe that she's been handed title opportunities in main events. Well, many of those same doubters live in their parents' basements, Cole. I wouldn't necessarily value their opinion. This is Charlotte Flair. This is the queen. This is... It's boss time. The standard, the blueprint, one of the most accomplished competitors in the women's division, period. And from Boston, Massachusetts, Sasha Banks! Sasha is no longer shy about stealing the spotlight. Well, Sasha's been a top star for quite some time, but the change in attitude earned her her SmackDown Women's Championship, her WrestleMania main event. Despite what I say about her attitude, the boss gets it done in the ring. Corey, I don't understand 
understand what your issues are with Sasha Banks. She's one of the all-time greats. Jared, talk to her. She's intolerable. Or he's just jealous. He wishes he had half the bling that Sasha has. Sasha Banks in this matchup, renewing their long-time rivalry. No love lost here, Byron. Charlotte has said it time and time again. Sasha Banks will always play second fiddle to her success. From the top, elbow drop. Good lord. Oh, that was just malicious. Insulting. The boss is too slow there. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Go oh, help him. Oh, impressive counter. Charlotte Flair and Sasha both know each other so well, both in and out of the ring. And let's face it, Charlotte has a physical advantage. Therefore, Banks needs to ramp up the aggression here tonight. We know Sasha has no problem turning up the pressure, turning up the intensity when the occasion demands it. And I would say this occasion definitely demands it. Precarious position for both superstars. Oh, gosh. Nasty. The hardest part of the ring. Driven into the barricade. Oh, man, low blow lock. Three. Four. What grace. Float over the DDT. Fight. challenge whenever these two leaders of the women's division compete like they did tonight. Sasha Banks said, Charlotte, I want you to know how it feels to lose your pride, lose your ego. I want you to feel agony and pain. And the boss delivered. Guts, heart, and passion in the boss.
This matchup about to get started, and they just attacked him from behind. Yeah, I mean, this is ridiculous. You guys didn't even have a chance. The bell hasn't even rung yet. The WWE Tag Team Division is more competitive than ever. As these two teams get into it, I can almost guarantee this match will be one to remember. The standards for tag team action. Uh oh. The decision to take such a risk at this juncture is questionable. Two. Launch out to the outside. That is tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for your own well-being. Up high. Look out below. It doesn't matter if you're on the outside of the ring. There is no place safe when you face such a risk taker. Take off through the air and connects. That's gravity taking a break before coming down like thunder. Jimmy stepping up to the top. Up high. Wow, look out. Just crashing down with high impact. Absolutely not. Up they go. The Samoa Drop. Wow. Here he goes for the win. Then he closes it out. One, two, three. An exhausting match, but a victory he'll savor forever. Here are your winners, Jimmy and Jay. is the one to put this one away for the team. That's about as perfect an example of tag team wrestling you're ever likely to see.